Game, apart from dozens, I must remark about the 1954 Cup final where we lost to West Brom 3-2. Now, he said in his autobiography that he had that many people ringing him up, he got jaded, and he'd even to go, it was, while they were down there, it was Footballer of the Year on the Thursday night before the match on Saturday. And he says, but well, I've watched it on video several times since, they met a very good team on the day, and I don't think he did play a bad game, but his standards were so high. If he didn't beat three men in a, in a run, the, the crowd started booing. What are you doing? I thought you could beat six men. His only trouble were they like to go back and have another go at him. <laughs> it was unbelievable. In the 50s, when the Busby Babes were at the height, I was here to see the about three or four seasons, and I'd have to say that side they had all internationals except Derry Peg, who'd been a youth international, they developed their own as an international side. They were so good. And yet Tom, Roger Byrne, the left back for England captain, Tom used to run rings round him. They were unbelievable. And then Duncan Edwards scored a 40-yarder towards the town end. I was sat behind us. My gosh, the goalkeeper never moved in the net. I thought he was going to burst the net. He hit it so hard. I was sat to one side of the goals at the spine cop end, as it was called then. We won the match 5-0. The Manchester City, 1950, whatever. I couldn't tell you exactly what they were, but they were a league game, Division One. Albert Trotman was recognised as the number one goalkeeper in his day, and Tom scored these three goals, including an header, and he picked the ball up, threw it at Tom, said, "Well, if I can't be a football, I'll be a fighting." <laughs> and he carried on running and laughing, Tom, which is what he used to do. They were.